Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a budget update. Let's jump into some numbers. Alrighty, you guys. So I did not do a budget update last week and that's partially because I just had a lot going on during my week and didn't get a chance to film it. So I wanted to give you an update of where the numbers are this far in July. So we are currently at the 20th of July and we've had a couple things come in and I wanted to give you an update. So I'm going to turn my computer around and I'm going to show you um, where we are as far as the numbers are concerned. But I did want to tell you, um, I have had one child support payment come in. I've had a um, unexpected blessing come in. Actually, I had two unexpected things come in. Um, I do like, I have like a little, what I'm going to call it, a little side hustle type thing going on. I think a lot of YouTubers call it a side hustle, you know, different little things they do to make money. Dave calls it a Dave job or whatever. Um, for a while now, I haven't even uh, paid any attention to, you know, this side thing. And out of nowhere, boom, so something came through in that deposit. And it was amazing. So I just wanted to share these updates and where we are now and how we're spending and allocating money because the Lord is very faithful. So if you follow my journey for any length of time, you know that I am a faithful believer in Jesus Christ. I follow the Lord and his commandments and what he tells us to do. I'm a faithful tither. That's my conviction. It's what I believe. I'll never tell anybody else what to do um, as far as tithing is concerned, offering, giving, anything. That's between you and the Lord. Um, I will tell you that a few weeks ago, I'm thinking this was in July. Somebody will have to tell me if I get it wrong. I gave a very large gift to um, a particular thing that I needed to give to, that I felt like the Lord was leading me to give to. No questions asked. I didn't say, okay, God, I'm not doing this. Um, I went to the individual and asked them what did they need. They gave me one number. I said, no, that's not what, they gave me a lower number by significant lower. I said, no, that's not what the Lord said. And so they kind of was like, oh, um, well, if you really mean it, then this is the number. I said, okay, well, this is what the Lord told me to do. I'm going to do it and you can allocate it, whatever you do, what you need to do. So I did that. With that being said, it took my baby step three down very low. And then, of course, I had to replace the dishwasher and the washing machine, which took all of my emergency money my baby step number one money, plus some of the sinking fund that I had. So th all of that money was gone. So we were really low. And I prayed to God, and this was Thursday morning, and I said, Lord, you know, my kids and I are not in dire straits, but I need this um, baby step to be at a different number. I said, you know, we're getting ready to go back to work. Nobody knows what that's going to look like just yet. We still have no definite answers on how our district is going back to school. Governor has left it up to school districts to determine how they're going to do their schools uh, year. So we don't know if we're going virtual. We don't know if we're doing everybody go back to the building. We don't know if we'll have um, this group of kids for this many days and then another group of kids for, we don't know anything yet. So I'm still waiting to hear from that. So I said, okay, we're going to trust and believe the Lord, but God, I need to have a specific amount of money in this account. Just in case, you know, baby step number three is three to six months worth of expenses. For me, three months is 9000 Six months, it's $18,000 and I am nowhere near that number. So just to be clear, nowhere near it. But I'm going to work on it this year for the remainder of 2020 and then moving in 2021. I'm going to work on that goal. So um, like I said, I had that side hustle thing and I just hadn't even paid any attention to it. It had been like so low. I mean, I wasn't doing a lot on there and out of nowhere, just things kind of exploded and blew up and it was very good. So I'm going to share with you those numbers as well. So let me turn my computer around or my camera around and share with you my computer. All right, you guys. So here is my 
July 2020 MYMT personal budget sheet. So I have my payroll deposit or my summer share account. I actually don't have a payroll deposit for this month. So I am going to go ahead and just take where it says uh, payroll deposit. I'm actually just going to strike that out because I only have a summer share account for this month. So my summer share money was $1,965. Now, for kids' deposits so far, I got to make sure that I'm right. Yes, I got a deposit on the 7th of 224.46 and then a deposit on the 14th for 216.46. I think that's exactly right. Um, I could have missed a, I don't think I missed a deposit anywhere in there, but I'll go back just to make sure and verify. But so far, I have $440.92 there. Um, okay. Next, um, I have a small little side hustle that I earned $8.40 from. No problem. Um, and then this is where it begins to take a little bit of a turn. So let me scroll down just a hair so that you all can see what I'm talking about. All right. So this category is called unexpected gifts, monies, Blessings, funds, transfer. So if I needed to transfer funds from one account to the next, this is where I would move those funds. Now, if I go here and I begin to um, look at the notes that I put in. So I have $125 was a love gift. And then $63 was a love gift for the chiropractor visit that came in and went back out. Um, $270 was a love gift for Alana's curriculum. $88 was from my sinking fund for homeschool curriculum. And then this should actually say, let me change that to make it right. $125 was a um, love gift. And this is for my three to six months pantry. And then, um, and that was from another side hustle. Very unexpected. Just unexpected for that to happen. So that gave me $972.75. So that puts this category of unexpected gifts, monies, blessings, and funds transfer to $1,518.75. So this... 870 this 847.75 I had prayed on a Thursday prayed thir no I prayed Wednesday it probably was early morning Thursday morning I usually wake up about 3 a.m or 4 a.m and um just pray and so by Thursday afternoon I had received an email to go and check this account because I was I just wasn't even thinking about it it's just something that I had you know going and it was just going and I hadn't even checked it in months 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 and it was there i prayed and it was there and i was like praise god so that takes my bottom line to three thousand eight hundred eighty seven dollars and seventy nine cents so far i've spent the majority of that leaving me forty five dollars and twenty eight cents in the account so let me take you to uh, the week of July 12th through the 18th and see where we spent monies. All right. So I am on the week of July 18th. I'm at July 12th through the 18th. Now, um, 108.74 is, was for the chiropractor. So I'm paying a, um, I have some monthly payments that I have to pay for the, all the visits that I have to do for the chiropractor. So I went ahead and did 108.74. And then for this $59 that you see here, uh, Alana had a doctor bill for some blood work. Uh, for some reason, I think our, what is it? When I called back to check, our um, limit was, was used, our maximum was used, and she had to have blood work when she went back to the specialist. And so this is what they charged us was the $59 for that blood work. So I went ahead and paid that bill. 
Um, moving down, $60.08 I use for the home improvement garden uh, because the kids and I have replanted some. We've done a second planting of beans and we're hoping to have beans by September. So early fall because we just planted them and it's about 60 to 75 days. So we're looking at about September. And then... Um, we had an unexpected Walmart run. One of our new, one of our friends that we know just got their first apartment ever, and we wanted to be a blessing to them, so we went and bought a few things for them for their home. That's why that's under miscellaneous house expense. Moving down, um, I did get gas at twenty four fifty six, so I've only had to get gas I think once, once since. The month started maybe twice, but I have not had to get much gas. And then moving down, um, $22 was for tithe and offering. Um, that was from the child support. Okay, I think I put something on the wrong week because there should be more there. Let me go back. Okay, right. So... From last week, which I didn't report in my update, 112.68 went for my cell phone bill. I had already paid my um, cell phone, and then my internet came out at 74.99. I think I put some money on the wrong week. Let me go back and make sure that I know where that money went. Did that money go? Hang on a minute. Let me make sure that I didn't put it. Oh, here we go. Yep. Sorry, y'all. I'm a little bit behind. So 22, that was from when the 21646 came in that week. It came in um, on the 14th. Somehow that number's wrong. But anyway, that $22 is where that came from. I got to go back and make sure. Yes, this is the 12th through the 18th. It came in on the 14th, so that's where that came out. Now, for today, which is Monday, the 20th, because I'm filming this the day that I'm you're going to see it today, so I'm trying to make sure that I have all my numbers correct. So I was like, what is happening? Okay, so out of that 847 that came in, 700 of that is going back into my baby step number three. I don't have any outstanding bills. I don't have anything I need to buy. I got Jackson some clothes last time when dad sent a little bit. Um, so I was able to get Jackson some things because we had two um, two child support payments coming at the same time. So I was able to get him $100 worth of clothes. So I don't need, I don't have anything else I need to buy. That $125 that came in for my um, three to six month storage pantry it was said specifically that's what it was for so 110 dollars is going to the groceries for that 15 of those dollars i put into tithe because i believe in 10 percent of every dollar that comes into my hands i should tithe off of so i put that for 110 is for that three to six month groceries um 25 dollars uh, that was for a massage. Actually, I actually ended up giving, blessing her with $40. Uh, I have a friend who does massage and she said that she would do it for free because of my nerve, but nobody is out here working for free. She drove to my house. She brought her, um, her table. She has to use her oils and all those types of things. So I just blessed her with a $40 love offering. Uh, moving down, $98 went to tithe. Now, 15 of that was from the 25, a 125 love gift. And then 85 of that was from the um, 84775. So 85 plus $13, that probably should say 100. There we go. That's right. So 85 and 15 was 100. I just, I want to try to use as many round numbers as I possibly can because I only try to go to the ATM instead of going to the bank. 
I know it sounds a little confusing and I hope it's not confusing too much, but anyway. So that brings us back to this bottom line. I had to make some adjustments here. And so now that's $28.28 that should be in my um, checking account for the, for the rest of the month. And again, I always leave something there just to make sure that I don't have anything that, you know, is... I don't be I won't be overdrawn on my account. I always leave a little something in my account. All right now, so let's just kind of go back and recap because I know I was giving you a lot of numbers and sometimes that's why I have to write everything down because I forget. And especially if I don't do a budget update that specific week that I get money in, it just by the time I've done everything that needs to be done, it, it goes off my mind. So off of the 216 46 that dad sent, I spent 108 70 whatever. For the chiropractor, I am having to get myself looked at and seen to. Then $60 went to the garden um, from that. And then $22 went to tithe. So that was 60, $182, which would have left $40 left. And I think I used that $40 to add to Jackson's money to get his clothes to make him have $100 worth of clothing. I, have to go, I would have to go back and check just to make sure that I didn't say that wrong. Now, the money this, that came in this past last couple days, 125 was a love gift for my three to six months pantry. Um, 15 of that went to tithe and 110 will go to that three to six months stock up because I'm still working on that. The 847.75 that I had not even counted on coming through, again, we work little side things around here. Um, me and Jackson are trying to get our eBay, you know, popping. We were doing some stuff yesterday. You you have to be able to find little side incomes wherever you can. I know some people do Capital One 360 and they get a little bit off of that or they do, you know, wherever you can get it, you can get it. So that's what we're doing around here. It's just whatever, however we can find a little gig or a hustle or something, we're, we're doing that. So from the 847.75, 85 of that went to tithe. 700 went to baby step number three. And then that would leave $64.00. 40 of that I blessed for the massage. I got a full body massage for an hour. So um, that blessed that person leaving about $24 left. And of course you saw 28, 28, which meant I had a few more change in there from something. So that would be all of the monies that was spent. Still yet to come, there's a little bit more of child support that should be coming in for this month. And we're at the 20th. So we have 11 more days. And I have not yet received anything from YouTube for the month. So I'll be able to stack in for my sinking funds. So there's just a way, you know, a lot of people look at me and they say, why do you tithe? You shouldn't tithe. Um, you just give the Lord way too much money. Can I promise you that God gives me back every dollar for dollar plus that I give to him in some type of way? It may not necessarily be in dollars. And sometimes he does do that for me, but he shows up in different ways for me and my kids which is why we continue to be blessings whenever he says to bless like i said the girl that came over today she's like no the first one's free on me i get that but she used her gas to come she brought her equipment she brought her table she used her sheets she used her oils and all of those massage things that people who do that they have to that's an expense for them so it made sense for me to be able to bless her in that way she didn't ask me to do it, but it was a blessing. Um, we also, our friend who comes over and she eats dinner with us, her birthday's this week. I want to be able to do a little something for her. So, it's a, you know, I'll pick and pull a little bit from here, there, and find her a birthday gift. So, you got to find ways to be blessings to people because God blesses us. You know, every week my friend comes over, she brings two chickens. We only always eat one chicken or three quarters of a chicken, meaning we still have half a chicken or a quarter of a chicken left, plus a whole nother chicken. She does that every single week. And all we do are the sides. And we've told her she doesn't have to do that. She does it anyway. Um, so again, 
God finds ways to bless us and we just bless him back. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where you're trying to make extra income, what are you good at? I always look at the things I'm good at. I'm good at organizing. I'm good at cleaning. So if somebody was, I had a friend post on um, Facebook that she was paying contract cleaners to come in and do like, you know, beach houses. We live at the beach and people want to that uh, those houses turn over and she's looking for contract people. I'm trying to find time in my schedule so I can go get a contract job because that's going to be more money for me and my kids for things we need to do. Praise God, all of the curriculum is purchased and, and paid for. That is good. I will need to get Alana a few clothes because she has grown as well, not as much as Jackson. And then, of course, we do share the Nadine West stuff. But she wanted one or two different little things. And I want to be able to do that um, for her. And so I've still just got to be able to find little ways to be able to do that. Starting in September, I'm adding in a sinking fund for kids curriculum. So I'll have the curriculum already allocated for by the time next year comes. And I won't be struggling or trying to figure out the monies by then. So again, there are things we can do. Budgets are subjective. Your budget is your budget. Nobody can tell you how to budget. Um, I appreciate all of the suggestions. They've all been very helpful for me. Um, I still have grocery cards for next month's groceries. We have a freezer full. We have um, our pantry is stocked. We do have, you know, food in the house. So there are no unmet needs in our home at this point. So again, that was just a little bit of an update and how things are going up to this point. We still have 11 days left of July and different things will come as July moves in and out and we'll be okay. And, and it'll be all right. We'll 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 just make sure that we have everything that we need to have. And as we're moving along, um, I do want to focus very hard on the um, three to six months baby step. Just like I'm getting three to six months worth of food, I want to have three to six months worth of expenses in case I need it. So that's a focus for me. It's what side job can I do? What, you know, little... This can I do just to try to make up for that that money. I'm not stressing over it or struggling about it. I'm just making preparations for it so that the kids and I will be well as the months move along. I do know I'm going back to work. I just don't know what that's going to look like. And so we need to have preparation. Uh, we need to be able to be prepared for what is coming down the line. So anyway, there it is. Just a brief little budget update. Wanted to make sure that you guys were staying abreast and staying aware. And I almost ran into the point where I was like, I'm not even logging this this month. I'm just tired of logging all these expenses. It's just too much. And the Lord prompted me. He said, Shakima, you only got this to this point by being steadfast, by, by um, maintaining your systems. So I had to get my computer out. I had to put in the numbers. I had to do all the calculations. I had to write it all down. Don't give up. Don't stop doing and being consistent with the things you were doing because that's how we got here was consistency. So if you are like me and wanted to just not even do it, we all, we already on July 20th. I mean, August will be here in a week and a half. Why do I have to keep doing this? Because this is how you got to this point was being consistent with your tracking, consistent with your budget, consistent with your sheet. So stay consistent. So anywho, there it is. Just wanted to encourage you guys to keep on keeping on. Even if you had a few bumps in the road, get back on the wagon and keep moving. So there it is. If you like this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, if you have any suggestions for us, leave them down below and we'll see you next time. Bye now.